Oh my goodness. Prepare yourself. Chef Gordon Ramsay is at it again. Season 13 of Master Chef. Our Heather Lake is live with them at Harris Resort and Casino where they are filming an episode of the show. Heather, where's he at? Okay, here's the deal. He is supposed to be walking in any moment, so we'll just talk a little bit. We'll say what's going on, and then if we see him, we see him. If we don't, you'll see him on the Fox 5 News at 1. You know how these things go. You got all this equipment. They actually have 13 cameras and one jib camera, so a big production going on here for Master Chef Season 13. So 12 successful seasons, a very entertaining guy, Gordon Ramsay, and he's getting ready for his entire day of shooting here at Hell's Kitchen. So an episode's going to be shot here today. You'll get to see it when all of this debuts this summer and there's a lot to see behind the scenes. We're talking about tons of cranes, lots of different lights, cameras, everything behind the scenes and so uh, there's obviously going to be a lot of food at some point and kind of the secret part about all of this is which chefs made it to this episode so we won't be able to share that with you but we are waiting for Gordon Ramsay. He's here. He's been hanging out. If you haven't been to Hell's Kitchen by the way, this is at Harrah's and um, if you want to drive out here and make the little trip down to uh, Harrah's it's a lot of fun. This is uh, the one of the restaurants. There are six Hell's Kitchens. This is one of the newest ones. It just opened in August, and it's one of the largest and the only one in Southern California. So there is one in D.C. that just opened. That is the largest one. If you haven't watched Master Chef, it really is hilarious. And you've got to think about someone that's been showing up to do these reality TV shows and cooking shows for year after year after year. How do you come up with new concepts? How do you come up with another cooking show? And he does it, Gordon Ramsay, over and over and time and time again. He was actually just in the Super Bowl where we were in Phoenix, Arizona. He was down on the field and um, talking a little bit more about his next big endeavor, which is this show called Next Level Chef. And so we'll be finding out a little bit more about that and how things are going and here's the man of the hour himself thanks for joining us Heather, so nice to see you and uh, welcome my apologies for being late oh you don't have to apologize i know I, you're a busy guy well i depend on my customers to come on time because if they're <laughs> on time we can absolutely nail that level of perfection but um, so excited to be here and what a gorgeous space. I was going to say, this is your first time seeing Hell's Kitchen in SoCal. What do you think? Well, I sneaked in late early this morning, so I did <laughs> see it uh, after dark, which is the time when you get to sit and meet the team and talk and just break bread and those valuable moments are crucial. I was just telling everybody, you are so entertaining. You've done this for many, many years. How do you come back and show up every single day and kind of take it to the next level every single time with all these chefs? Uh, my mother. My mother <laughs> growing up had three jobs. Okay. She worked as a cook during the day, then she wow. worked as a staff nurse, and then she had a night job also, uh, packaging boxes. So um, when you grow up with that level of inspiration and you see that level of determination that comes from your mother, I think that's why I'm here today still. Aww. That's very sweet. Yeah. And when you talk about Hell's Kitchen, what you guys are doing, um, a lot of people have been asking, what's next? Do you have a new concept or a new show or something that you want to talk about? Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, just following the Super Bowl with Next Level Chef and seeing those social media phenomena, yeah. amateurs and professionals on that platform in amongst three kitchens was exceptional. So Hell's Kitchen is a big one for me. And we've just finished the finale of season 21. Wow. Growing up as a kid, Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe was my sort of go-to excitement uh, with American theme cafes. And I think Hell's Kitchen is a 21st century version of just that. Yeah. I love exciting. watching your eyes because you're kind of checking out I your know, space. This I is know, the first know, time you're yeah, seeing it no, with no, me. No, 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 but there's two glasses over there that are not in the right position, so <laughs> we'll deal with that later. You'll let them later. <laughs> uh, but also it's just the sort of the theatre. I think customers, yeah. you know, they demand a lot today, and rightly so. And uh, also, you know, customers vote with their feet. They don't mm -hmm. ring you up and say we're not coming back. They just yeah. disappear. So mm -hmm. we take each and every cover, each and every plate as it was the first, but we want perfection. Yeah. Um, you obviously have a family. You have to, do you have to cook at home? And what, what do you like making at home? What does Chef Gordon Ramsay make on a Monday night? Oh, and that's the nice thing about having five amazing kids. I have my own brigade. A sous chef, <laughs> a three line cooks, a prep chef, and a, an amazing boss. Um, I taught the kids how to cook early on in life because it wasn't about succeeding at school or college with A+. Plus. It was about confidence and being social aware. So no one gives a damn at the age of 16 with an A star. You get to 21, it sounds slightly pompous. So I taught my kids how to cook properly. Like that. And that gave them such confidence. They can host parties, they can break bread, and socializing is important, right? So yeah. I'll be honest, I don't cook at home because I have a mini brigade that cook beautifully for me. That's amazing. So I need to put my kids in training is what you're there saying. You there, there you go. There you go. But also I think sometimes, you know, I wasn't academic growing up. And I got a bit nervous when it got to exams and I sort of, I, I sort of disappeared. And in many ways, you'd say that was a mental health issue. 
back then, back in the 80s. So mm. I think cooking gets you to express yourself and there's okay. really a significant amount of importance about giving kids freedom and cooking gave me that freedom. Oh, I love that. There was something about when you're just tired and exhausted and a parent and you're working that you have to find a passion for cooking. Is That's there it. a way to find that passion again for someone, I'm raising my hand, who's maybe lost it? <laughs> no, no, without a doubt. Yeah, and also I think, um, you know, it, it brings the best out of you. And yeah. so, you know, experimenting is important. Um, putting a smile on people's faces is important. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, cooking does just that. Uh, last question, I know you're a busy guy and you no. have to go. What is your most excited part about shooting today and today's episode and being here in San Diego? Yeah, I mean, I'm nervous. I mean, these are amateurs. It's uh, the top six in MasterChef and I'm handing over my new baby. So I haven't finished breastfeeding yet. So I don't like taking my ration off the teat. And I'm nervous <laughs> the fact that this could be a kitchen nightmare in three hours time. I hope not. I think there's really yummy food at this restaurant. I've been here, I experienced it. I think they'll do just fine. Oh yeah, but you haven't seen the MasterChef contestants yet. So uh, that's- That's I true, I have not, I have no. not. Oh yeah, uh, we were both at the Super Bowl just a minute ago. Yes. And it feels like we blinked and we're here now. Were yes. you going for a specific team? Oh, I mean, I, I got, I got behind um, Kansas City Chiefs because I went okay. to see them. Okay. We opened a steakhouse there uh, recently, and so okay. going to that training ground and seeing the mental attitude behind those yeah. players, the team, the physios, it was just extraordinary. So yeah, I was a big Chiefs fan. Okay, checking anything out before you leave town in San Diego? Uh, Bucket list? I'm gonna come and give Richard Blaze a kick up the backside because oh. I don't know if you've seen that hair recently. He's now six foot four and that quaff is up there. Oh yeah, it's because when I interview him, I have heels on. So he wants to be a little taller. He does it every when, time. When I cook with him, he has heels on as well. <laughs> We'll both have to give him crap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so good to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for having us. <laughs> oh, Gordon dropping bombs oh, this morning. That's Rick a good one. Blaze getting blasted. <laughs> that was awesome. I like this Gordon, you know? Yeah. Philosophical, soft spoken, nice. Funny. I like this guy. He's so funny. Uh, Heather, that was great. And you get I a like him. I mean, I didn't five. get yelled at, so I was good with that. There you go. He was good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it any five. day. That was so cool. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Heather. Thanks.